you know, I did just sign a book for that. Um, okay. this guy over there. I have really kind of tuned in to authors' first books. And when an author's first book is raved about, I have never been disappointed. Uh, so I brought as a prop today this little novella. During the time that I was working on this, I, I started working on a novel. So I actually thought, like, since I'm amongst friends and outside here today, why not just read the beginning of it? Before uh, halftime on Super Bowl Sunday, 1986, my Uncle Poxel came over. He was just months from reaching the height of his fame and unaware the game was being played. He wasn't my uncle either. He was just an old friend of my parents who for years had taught at a prep school in Cambridge. It's like the idea of reading a scene at a reading in a reading while reading. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stand here and just say reading over and over again. Rain ticked against the windows as if to confirm the existence of the pathetic foul. Mm. Cut that part of the blog and then go to... Rain ticked against the windows as if to confirm the existence of the pathetic fallacy. Uncle pa Poxel read from a chapter describing how he and his cousins felt when they first learned of their parents' fate during the war. Heads bowed towards chests all through the audience of maybe a hundred listeners packed into that small space when Poxel described what he knew of his mother's deportation to Turrets. And when he finally gave us what we wanted, and that audience wanted so much for my Uncle Poxel, the first Jew so many of us had heard who had not only survived the Nazi threat but who had combated it literally, and narrated the night when he crawled into the cockpit of a Lancaster bomber, when he piloted a plane so his bomber could drop blockbuster bombs, that created a firestorm that destroyed almost every building in Hamburg. It was as if every villain in God's unholy world had been burned in a cauldron of fire by Uncle Poxel and stirred. Basically, I kind of tried to um, retrace those steps. So I, I made a bunch of trips where I would just sort of like fly into Budapest and then go to um, Prague and then go up to the city Lightworks, which still exists.